So I got some work to get done in the new uh, swarm hives. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to rob uh, either some drone comb frames or some honey frames from one of my existing hives and put into the new hives to give them kind of a head start. Um, the bees that I moved from the uh, third swarm uh, seem to be doing okay this morning. There's still a few straggler bees in the nuke box, but the uh, the new bees are actually fanning the new hive. So let me show you. There's the nuke box. You can see a few straggler bees. There's the entrance to the new hive. And I didn't have any frames with drone comb, which is why I'm doing all of this. You know, the uh, idea is that I'll use some uh, resources from my stronger hives to get these new hives going. So let me get started. I actually forgot my hive tool. I had to run over and get it. So this hive is my newest Russian queen hive. few bees on the top cover. Just give them a little smoke to let them know I'm here. This is what I'm after. You know, I didn't even bring over an empty frame. So let me run and get an empty frame real quick. All right, so now I got some empty frames that aren't that don't have drawn comb, which kind of sucks. But I just got to do what I got to do. Wow, these are some really heavy honey frames. As you can see. Actually, this frame right here is perfect. Got uh, honey on this side, and got some honey and some drawn comb on this side. So that will be perfect for what I need. But I also want to go ahead and look at the rest of these. 
as you can see I've already robbed some resources from this in the past Another strong, heavy honey frame. Absolutely beautiful. And more honey. This has actually got a lot of pollen on it. Quite a bit of burr comb. I've actually got what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and Stick this back together and just stick another frame in there to replace the one that I took. Just like that. get this back together now I need to move the camera over where you can see the next hive I'm going to do. This will be the new hive. And by adding this frame of honey, it also gives a queen that could be in there a place to start working so they don't have to build up comb. Give them some smoke. They're up here working on this pollen patty that I stuck in there for sure. Hopefully you can see that. There's what we got. On the top, a lot of the frames are covered. Don't want to make them too mad. <laughs> but by me moving this around, they're going to be pretty upset. Now you kind of have to think like a bee. And you're going to want to put this pretty close to the edge. 
And actually, I got something I got to clean out of here. come out too. I think I'm actually just going to leave that in there for now. And I'll come and get it out in a couple of days. So that'll probably help them out quite a bit. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to open up this front entrance reducer so they got some more room. So then I'm going to take this one that I took out and I'm actually going to put that in this other hive that I captured a swarm and put in and then that way that kind of gives them a little bit of a head start also. smoker now this hive I've got sugar syrup in the top of it and don't even look like they're even mess them with this syrup much they 
They got um, some pollen patty that I stuck in there. And I want to find a bar actually right next to this that I can pull out that don't have any comb on it. And then take the new one that's got some comb on it and stick it right here. Just like that. And we'll stick it back down in there. Now one thing I want to do while I'm in here is I want to take a look to see if there's any eggs in this yet. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. And then I'm gonna pull one of these frames out and check for eggs. Alright, so that's really not a good sign. I'm seeing lots of pollen, but I don't see any eggs. So let me check over here. don't see any eggs there either now normally on a wear hive this would be nearly impossible to pull these frames out the only reason why I can do it now no eggs no eggs so, kind of what's bothersome is if there was a queen in this ware hive, she would have already had time to start laying eggs. So I'm a little concerned now that this hive is actually queenless. I'll check the other frames over there, but pretty certain this hive is queenless. The newest drawn comb, which is absolutely amazingly beautiful. No eggs.
think I already pulled this one out, but I want to do it one more time. So I need to get I need to get a queen cell into this hive for sure. I'm pretty certain this hive is queenless. I'll give it a few more days because they've only been in there for three days. And there you have it. So there's a swarm, there's a swarm, and I got another one down there, but they're doing amazingly great. I know the queen's in that one. So, anyways, I got some work to do, but I'm not going to be able to do it today because we're actually going out of state, me and my sister, and, uh, I'll have to come back tomorrow and get the rest of this work done that needs done out here in the apiary. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Thanks for watching.